Hello, it's Forrest. Uh, I am just labeling some bottles of Sleep Elixir from the Witch's Utility Collection that uh, just recently went live on Friday, July 24th. And uh, let's see, so I wanted to talk to you today about that collection, about the Witch's Utility Collection, which just went live, as well as the ongoing series of um, scents that are called Kinship Covenstead. And um, that's kind of about my take on the idea of home and of family. And each of the scents is, uh, so far, it's based on a person whom I love very much and who has inspired me to create sort of an ode in perfume to them. So let's get started. Uh, Sleep Elixir. Do, 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 do. This might be shown to you backwards, but hey. Um, this is like the summer sheets, as opposed to tryptophan, which was um, our first sleep blend uh, from the Thanksgiving time collection a couple years ago, um, which is more cozy and more heavy and more about really uh, hunkering down and sleeping through the winter. Whereas Sleep Elixir, is a summer sister scent to that one. It's a little lighter, it's a little more citrusy and fresh. Um, the intention is to stay cool while you're sleeping. And it, do, it does still have that central heart of um, German blue chamomile, so it's very dark oil, and um, Bulgarian lavender in this one, which I think uh, the Bulgarian tends to be softer and less medicinal than some of the other ones. So Sleep Elixir, I think it's very nice. I think you're gonna enjoy it. It's super restful, totally knocks me out. Um, let's talk about some more of them. So Black Moon, um, that was the first time that we had something sell out in a day since, uh, since back when we were doing jewelry. Um, so that's a great problem, but it's a problem that we're working on solving. We're actually um, looking at getting some office space to move into and to improve productivity, um, take on some more help, and so forth. So uh, let me tell you about Black Moon. Black Moon is pretty, was pretty fun to do. Um, as you may already know, we recently had the second new moon in Cancer consecutively, and uh, that is kind of the equivalent, the new moon equivalent of a blue moon. Um, when a blue moon happens, it is the second full moon in a month or in a sign. And when black moons happen, it's the same thing with a new moon. We had a new moon in Cancer, and then we had a second new moon in Cancer. And uh, that's a really special new moon. It's a very powerful one. The fact that it's in Cancer, in the, in the sign that the moon happens to rule, is very powerful. And it happened on a Monday. It was a new moon on Monday for all of my 80s nerds out there. Um, yeah, so very good placement. A new moon in general is a super magical time because the fecundity of, of that proverbial soil um, is excellent for serving manifestation and for supporting the development of wishes that you that you plant at that time, seeds that you sow. Um, so Black Moon is, is very much instilled with that energy. Also, it's important that um, we set aside a little bit of that original formulation because it's made at the exact moment of the black moon. So we set aside a portion of that to include in every new batch that we remake of it. So the original magic is always in there. Um, kind of like yogurt. I mean, you have a little yogurt culture and you put it in your milk and it makes more yogurt. So let's see, besides Black Moon, we did Guiding Star. Um, in the Facebook discussion group, a couple of people had mentioned uh, having something that felt uh, like a compass, especially like a, a witch's compass. I think that was how it was described by one of the participants. Um, helping you to kind of illuminate the path ahead as a magical practitioner and in your spiritual work. Um, and so we, we designed Guiding Star around that. Some of the traditional herbs that are infused in that oil, mugwort and frankincense, eyebright and angelica. Um, I like how that one came out. 
Saint Expedite. Uh, if you've never worked with Saint Expedite and, and you're um, surprised to hear the mention of a saint in a witchy pagan context like this, um, then read up on a little bit of New Orleans style hoodoo and conjure. Um, there's a lot of Catholicism in there and there's a lot of crossover between spirits who are considered saints and in some cases spirits who are considered law or orisha. Saint Expedite is a spirit who is um, petitioned frequently when a matter is urgent and must happen quickly. Um, so, and there's a very sweet ritual that occurs when you're working with Saint Expedite. In very simple, short, sweet terms, um, you get yourself a candle either with his image on it or an image and a candle. Um, in this case, you would dress it with our Saint Expedite oil, I hope, and you offer things like red flowers, especially red roses are preferred, um, Sara Lee pound cake, <laughs> or um, in instances when I've, when I've petitioned him, I've actually made pound cake at home and it seemed to go pretty well. He seemed happy with it. Um, a candle and some fresh water. Um, there is also uh, red wine that is sometimes offered depending on, on your practice and your feelings about that practice and how you want things to go. Um, so I did lean kind of Catholic and, and um, cathedral smelling with this one. I gave a nod to a lot of the traditional offerings that we might make to him. It does smell like pound cake flowers and wine um, with also some frankincense like you might smell in the, the incense censers in a Catholic church and some beeswax candles for the, the lighting of the candles. Um, and that one was, was done in the hour of Mercury on Mercury's day, Wednesday, um, because St. Expedite astrologically tends to be associated with Mercury. Uh, that is because he, he acts swiftly and because he acts as a messenger between us mortals and the powers that be who will assist in the manifestation of our wishes. Um, creative spark is, uh, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's intended to call your muse and to help you with all of your creative and artistic endeavors. Cut and clear was um, made by request, by the request of a very good friend of mine. And um, that one was fun because I got to use some of my own homegrown herbs for it. Uh, lemon verbena and lemon thyme, uh, fresh right into the oil, excuse me, to infuse it. Um, the fragrance is very lemon with a few accents of, and I almost never go near mint. Mint is not a scent that I, that I like to work with, but in this case, um, it was very appropriate to the blend and it was very important to kind of keep it bright, sharp, clean but not medicinal um, and I also added the element of fresh blackberry because in a lot of folk magic anything that has thorns is used in protection magic um, to keep things at bay that would otherwise try to do you harm love potion it's exactly what it sounds like and um, far more girly uh, than I would usually lean, but again, using some folk magic root stuff like Queen Elizabeth root is in there, um, sandalwood for, for the Venus aspect, um, patchouli, because it's sexy, and um, very sweet rose, a very realistic, dark, uh, luxurious kind of rose, a little heavier than I would usually go. Um, that's pretty pretty much a, a good oh one more one more the conjure man's cabin now this was from kinship coven said it's about someone i know and love and um for this one there had to be a tobacco note because it's a conjure man's cabin come on um so but i wanted to go absolutely as authentic as i could possibly do it and i do have some some tobacco absolutes and oils that i adore However, they don't do the same thing as sticking your nose into the 
tobacconist shops jars of fresh um, sweet pipe tobacco like there nothing duplicates that so I went and got some pipe tobacco threw it in the jar infused the oil um, notes of whiskey and hay vetiver and mud suede and pinion pine it's not the same as pine pine not like Christmas pine it's very resinous and it's almost sticky um, if you've ever smelled it, you, you know the, the very distinct difference between when we talk about pine in the sort of holiday scent sense and pinion pine, which is much more deep and rich and heavy. I, I love it personally, and I think it was very appropriate to this um, atmospheric slash personal scent. I it's It's a very interesting one. It's absolutely more masculine than I usually go um, but I was telling the story of a character who um, exemplifies a lot of non-toxic masculinity and um, guidance and a paternal slash brotherly love um, that is all about empowering and all about helping people learn even if if they have to do it the hard way kind of a saturnine figure really cool um, i'm happy with it and that's all the news that's fit to print for now thank you guys so much for continuing to support us and uh keep the lights on around here we're packing our orders as fast as we can um gonna try not to run late this time working on it um and uh yeah that's it I'll see you guys next time. Bye.